Hi bimbos, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking all about mothering your man, mothering your partner and how to stop doing it because this is actually something that I realized I was doing fairly a lot in consistently in relationships and I actually had to like rewind myself and pull myself back. like they can care for themselves, you know? And I just wanted to share this with you guys because I feel like not enough people know about this and even if they do, I feel like not enough people maybe take it seriously or like aren't really taken seriously by their partners because a lot of these like feminine energy girlies are saying like it's destroying your relationship, it's ruining your relationship when in reality like sometimes when we pull back that sort of mothering or nurturing energy is actually pushing our partners away because they're so used to it and because they expect it. Let's just get right into the video today. Here's all of the chapters and let's do it. So what exactly is mothering your man? Mothering is essentially like trying to control your partner as if they are your own child versus like nurturing which is just caring and like providing for them. Mothering comes down to like the control of the connection. Like you want control over the connection. You want control over what you want your partner to do. And I know that like to some of you guys that might sound harsh, but I think it's important for us to kind of like take a step back and examine some of the ways in which we do things so that we can stop doing them. <laughs> and that way we can actually move forward and become better human beings. Yeah, mothering is just one of those things that a lot of us, especially women, can get very trapped into. Especially because we have been raised with these sort of standards that we are supposed to do the cooking, the cleaning, taking care of the children, and working at this point in life. And it's a lot. And I feel like, you know, a lot of those masculines can kind of like take advantage of that, like take advantage of those ideologies in ourselves and that have been like sort of like planted on us because of society. So say that you have been doing the bulk of the cooking for a relationship for like a long time and you're like trying to get your partner into cooking, right? But like they keep going back to their video games or like doing whatever it is they do with their time. It's really starting to irk at you. And so rather than just like carefully and like calmly like explaining to them, hey, this is what I don't like, you kind of just sort of hover and like make them do what you want them to do. So like in order to get him to start cooking, you basically like are like okay you're gonna start cooking for us like two times a week okay and then when he starts doing the cooking for you rather than just letting him do his thing you're probably right there with him watching over him making sure that he's doing everything correctly and that's how you kind of know that you're mothering because you're trying to like teach somebody control somebody to learn something that they maybe should have learned a long time ago but they just never did. A lot of it just goes back to like what you want to change about your partner. Rather than allowing them to kind of like change themselves, you try to force said change onto them. When we do not have control over our partner, like it makes us feel like they're not going to change. Like we don't trust them to make those changes by themselves or to do those things by themselves like we don't trust them enough to do that and i feel like that's kind of a really core issue we should definitely trust our partners especially because our partners are literally grown-ass adults okay keep this in mind your partner grown-ass adult there's no reason why we should feel like we have to control this person into doing anything and if you feel like you're having to do that a lot for a partner <laughs> maybe they're not for you okay because if you want to change like every single little teeny tiny aspect of them like that's probably not your partner you probably have to go back to step one manifesting writing down all those personality traits and just let that person grow at their own pace you're basically not treating your partner like the grown-up that they are like if you're babying them it means that you don't trust them enough to do the things that you want them to do that's why it's so important to recognize like when we're mothering when we're controlling and like if we're doing it like a lot in the partnership like how can we pull back how can we stop how do we stop doing this because <laughs> it's not healthy obviously some of my tips i feel like for mothering number one is just recognizing when you're even doing it because a lot of us just don't even know that we're doing it and then we feel like garbage all the time because we feel like we're taking on the weight of two people in the relationship when it should just be the weight of one of us you know like that beautiful symbiotic two of cups kind of energy but it feels like we are the one that's doing all of the providing that's doing all of the work multitasking all the time of pentacles like going everywhere right being 110 places at one time when in reality our partner can handle themselves they do not need us running around them in circles doing everything for them they are a grown ass adult the two biggest things as to like where mothering comes from is basically control and trust like if you trust your partner enough 
to know that like they're going to make everything happen for their life, then you do not feel the need to control them about it. But if you don't really like trust that they're capable, that they have the capabilities to do everything to make their life complete, make their life whole, you know, then I feel like it's only going to project that even more. They're going to lean on you for more things. Basically, as long as we trust the partner though, and trust that they are capable, we don't feel like we have to control them because we know that they're fully capable of controlling their own life and making everything happen for themselves. If you're feeling like you need to control a lot of aspects of this partner, of this situation, of this partnership, you probably shouldn't be in it in the first place. It probably isn't for you. You should probably just walk away. At that point, it feels like you are getting all of the weight in this and it feels like they are then lacking growth or lacking the knowledge to know how to grow. Um, but in reality, it's just because you're taking all of this weight and all of this pressure off them that they don't feel like they have to. And so it's just kind of this like energy that if you're feeling like you really, really, really want to change somebody, they're just not changing, you know, they're just not growing. It's not meant for you. I feel like you, you will find somebody on your path from a spiritual perspective that is more adept to the type of changes that you're you're wanting to make in your life at that current moment in time. So like it will start going faster if you meet said person that's actually meant for you versus if you're staying over here in a partnership and trying to control somebody that clearly just doesn't want to grow in the same direction that you're meant to grow in. I feel like making it known to them first before you even do any of this that you learned about this term that you know that you've been kind of up in all of their business and you just don't want to control everything all the time anymore. That way it kind of like shows them that you're making these changes without just like dumping them on them, without them expecting or knowing anything about it. At least letting them know about the fact that you are going to pull it back, but then actually doing it, sticking to your word, not hovering over them all the time while they're trying to figure things out, you know, like giving them to-do lists. Let them do it all by themselves. Let them figure that out because they are, again, a grown ass adult, as are you. And if you are fully capable of doing something, they are fully capable of doing the same thing as well. <laughs> I feel like I'm like kind of the harsher version of like some of these videos out here, but I really just like want to be because I see this happening like so frequently. I see women that have to take on the weight of the entirety of the relationship. The entire relationship weighs on their shoulders. And I'm just kind of like, sick of it. The type of woman that wants to be so perfect for her partner that they literally will not leave her, basically. I feel like it also kind of comes down to dependency and codependency because if you want to like be the perfect partner for your partner, that's fine. I mean, that's natural. But if you are like going out of your way, like laying out their clothes, like getting their dinner ready, like doing all of this kind of stuff, I feel like take a step back because you're doing too much. I mean, that might just be my perspective, but it really does feel like you're doing too much for them. I feel like some of this also stems from dependency. Like you're very dependent on the success of your partner when you shouldn't be. You should be very dependent on the success of yourself or I guess more independent. That's why it's so important to work on your codependency issues before you get into a partnership. And if you're in a partnership already and you have codependency issues, it's still a great time to grow your own independence and to be more independent, to focus more on yourself, your own personal goals, what you can control, which is yourself and what you can't control, which is your partner. As much as you want to, as much as you want the best for them, and that's perfectly fine, that's natural, that's healthy. You cannot create the best for them, okay? You can just make your beautiful world as beautiful and as wonderful as possible and integrate it with theirs. But you cannot control their world, their environment, their thinking, their thoughts, how they act, how, you know? I feel like if a lot of you guys like want to pull back your energy too, the majority of your partners should be understanding. If your partner is like having issues with that, like that's on them. Like they got some other baby ass issues that they need to clean up for themselves. But like y'all don't need to deal with that, okay? That's not on you. You are a grown ass adult. They are a grown ass adult. Okay? Okay, they can care for themselves. I feel like there's a lot of times in which we totally want to like micromanage every single thing that's happening in our lives and make sure that everything is perfect, everything is in place, when in reality, like that's just not how the other person functions. It's all about learning how your partner 
functions as a person and then finding ways to make that work for both of you it's very like a yin and yang sort of energy like i feel like there's a lot of like yin and yangs that are very attracted to one another and for good reason because the opposite sort of attract in energy but that becomes very problematic because one person functions incredibly differently than the other person functions and then it creates this sort of like headbutting when in reality if we sort of lean back and go with our own flow it really allows our partner to sort of fill in the space naturally how they would naturally do it so at the end of the day i feel like it's a very simplistic thing we just have to get over controlling our partners and take a step back realize for ourselves when it's happening and realize when we need to stop it and how we can make it better and we can make it better by focusing on ourselves and working on ourselves, working on our own independence. Yeah, I literally just heard something the other day too that was like, make sure that you and your partner obviously do things together, but have your own separate hobbies. Do things that you like to do by yourself. For example, me and my partner's like number one love language in common is quality time. We love to spend quality time together. And that means that we can exist in the same room doing completely different things but happily and like in our space and in our elements and so he'll like to do gaming and i'll like to do embroidery and like watch gilmore girls or do my own little wine night or whatever like i love spending time by myself like i'm such like an independent person like i love spending time by myself and he loves spending time with other people like he likes to game and be on the discord talking to people talking to like my friends too which is so crazy because like i'm so introverted like i just like my own space i like my own energy and i just feel like this overall is so healthy and it's something definitely to keep in mind if you find yourself mothering your partner like if they're doing video games like too frequently like find something that you can do that's like a video game one of the things that helps with my household in particular like both of us were very different about doing chores and like keeping the house he does a great job like better than a lot of guys but i am just so like picky like i love my space to be pristine and clean like i like to see the floor at all times i like to see surfaces at all times i like things to be put away in their you know correct places and everything and i've really had to adapt with like being a little bit messier and being okay with being a little bit messier and he's had to adapt with cleaning up and being a little bit tidier and being a little bit neater and we've really really coped with this and like helped out this situation by having a whiteboard where we write each other chores to do so it's not like we're writing ourselves chores we're like making them super easy we're giving each other stuff to do that like helps out one another like he does a lot more of the handiwork and i do a lot more of like the cleaning work but i love it it works out very very well for both of us so that's one of the things that i just want to mention like if you guys wanted to be nonchalant about doing chores but like didn't want to control your partner completely to do chores but wanted to give them a little bit of that control too let them write your chores out and you write out theirs, you know? Make them fair. Make them fair, obviously. Like, don't make one easier than the other. Don't cut them slack. They can do it. They are grown-ass adults. And if they have never learned how to do it, teach them. <laughs> and then get over it, you know, or... or let them freaking learn themselves okay you guys but that's all the information i have about mothering today i just want to like bring this to people's attention because i had no idea about it again i had literally no idea that i was doing this and the second that i realized that i was i was like i'm gonna pull this back relationship has been a lot smoother because again it comes out of nowhere like it doesn't happen at the beginning of the relationship like even like the beginning like tons of months like it literally has not happened it was only like recently that it really started to happen like with everything and i was like oh my gosh and then i saw these videos and i was like oh my god i need to tell my bimbos about this just to prevent y'all from doing the same thing i love you guys so 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 much let me know if you like this if you want me to do like multiple topics in one video i can do that otherwise if you guys like like one topic at a time that's cool too if you guys have anything that you would like me to discuss in dirty talk i am a sexologist and psychic medium so i know a very wide range of things and if i don't know something i'm willing to learn it with you guys so definitely comment down below anything that you guys want me to talk about I'll do it, okay? Let's get on this dirty talk together, bimbos. Okay, I love you, and I'll see you very soon, okay? Bye!